Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time when we left off we had just reached the NCR Correctional Facility, which is where we are going to pick up right now. There's a bunch of stuff out here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up everything I see. And yes, that includes all the shit inside this cart. A lot of times you can actually get into the cart if you jump just right, and that makes it a lot easier. Let's try stacking some tires. Ah! Oh. Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? What is this place? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here. Just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Who's in charge of the prison now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. What exactly is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. What did you do to end up in here? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. If you're free, why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the <clears> wasteland. <throat> There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Never mind. Quit wasting my time. Yeah, whatever. So let's get in here and again. I overshot it again, amazingly. Come on. There you go. Let me check my carry weight. 140, that's alright. Now we can get the key off of Dawes here. I'm going to try this first. It's not quite powerful enough. Let me see if doing melee with my combat knife will do the trick. Nope. Okay. Let's... I, don't, I actually think this is going to be what even less... Less strong, but I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm hit. Okay. I can live with the wasted bullet. And now, we can just loot Dawes and get the visitor center key. Oh, but wait, everybody else turned hostile. Anybody there? Maybe I'm just jumping. I need to wait forever see if everybody settles down. Maybe I'm just jumping. Because if they all settle down and nobody el nobody sees me, then I sh they mm -hmm. should go back to neutral without me losing any reputation. What was that? Not enough. But we got spotted. That's not a good. So that time, we st we actually stayed hidden, and they stayed hostile. Let me see if I can do it with the plasma pistol. I just, I don't know if it's silent or not. Well, that pulled off the one shot, but it turned everyone hostile. 
So I take it it was not silenced. Alright, I'm just gonna have to deal with him later. We'll be able to find a weapon that uh, helps a lot with this soon enough. Oh, that'll do. Trusty shovel, baby. Alright. Now we'll take all this stuff. Now we're good, so I'll save and head inside. Never gets old when something blows up. So all these generic powder gangers, I'm gonna go ahead and kill. It's both a karma boost. And we're ult we're ultimately going to kill them anyway, so might as well get it over with. Damn, on smokes again. Okay. Alright, everybody stayed good. Take all his stuff. I'll drink the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Now, Myers, we need to leave alive. He's an important figure in a later quest. Alright, we got spotted there. Let's get the guy up front now. Another Sunset Sarsaparilla I can go ahead and drink. Now I'll get the last generic Powder Ganger. And now we can loot this visitor center. I'm going to leave the regular tin cans and anything else I have to count for last. Just because it'll be easier for me to keep track. And unlike the rest of them, Myers is never going to move. So... Keep an eye on my weight. 211. See? So let me drop one thing I picked up. We'll drop a bent tin can. We'll go to Good Springs and offload, and then we'll come back. And actually, it occurs to me that I should bring a load of stuff from Good Springs, because I can sell it to a merchant here at the correctional facility. All right, let's go visit Chet. You looking to buy some sub Sell him all that NCR money. Sell the 357s, the 9mm, the cleaver, and shotguns. I'm going to keep my combat knife, my explosives, and my the weapons I've actually been using. I'm going to repair my cowboy hat. He can have everything else. He can have my bent tin cans. He can have the butter knives, he can have cigarettes, I'm keeping coffee, I'm keeping cups, keeping dinner plates, keeping empty bottles, keeping fishing batteries, he can have the fork, he can have the metal spoon, and that's it. Now let's see if he got any melee weapons I want, or uh, weapon mods I want. He 
does not have any good any weapons for me. He did get the laser pistol recycler, which I'll go ahead and buy. Good. Pleasure doing business with you. And now my laser pistol is fully tricked out with all three of its mods. That's awesome. Let's run up to Doc Mitchell's, stash the stuff I'm holding. I'm just going to keep four dynamites and that frag grenade. Leave the dog meat. Leave the iguana on a stick. I'll hold on to the rest of my stealth boys. I don't need to sell them. Drop all this. that. Drop that. Drop that. I'll drop 58 of these. That's too slow. There we go. Sorry there's so much inventory management. It's just kind of a feature of this game. Let me grab out a few more 556 rounds. And let me check my hardcore stats. I could use an hour of sleep. So I'll run over to that trailer and get one. Then I'll eat a snack and get a drink before I head back to the prison. We really need to maximize our caps because it's not all that long before I go to the New Vegas Medical Clinic, but I get there before I have access to the casinos in the strip, and I want to be able to buy all the implants as soon as I get there. So that's why I decided to re-embrace full kleptomania for this playthrough. And I'm going back to docks because sleep should be... At or near zero. Hunger's at 81. So I'm going to find something to stave that off. Shouldn't forget to repair my cowboy hat. So let me just look. I'll grab one of those bloatfly sliders and just carry it with me. I don't want to I don't want to waste any of it, so I'll eat it as soon as my hunger gets to 126 or above. And finally, because there is a new merchant at the correctional facility who doesn't care about all this shit I stole from Good Springs, pick up all this stuff. Let me grab a drink of nice clean water. And then we'll head back to the correctional facility. So, um, I realize all of that is fairly involved and fairly time consuming. But I also know that some people like to be able to follow exactly what you're doing and on hardcore, like all this stuff is actually pretty necessary. All this inventory juggling. So uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to start editing that stuff out or not, and I will simply... Why isn't it letting me... There. That was weird. It wasn't letting me fast travel. 
Now, before I pick up anything else that'll be stolen from these guys, I just want to run straight through here. If we go to... I can't remember if it's block A or B. I think it's B, but it could be A. Let's look around. There should be a named NPC in one of these joints named Damn. Carter. Run low on smokes again. There he is. Yeah, here's Carter. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. So we can trade with him. If I don't have anything you like, well, tough. I don't do special orders. So let's sell him all the stolen shit from Good Springs, shall we? Outstanding. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you. And now let's get back to what we were doing, which was systematically clearing this place out. They're when actually old when something blows up. There are actually only two NPCs that well, I guess Carter makes three. Oh, let's finish looting in here now. So I don't get it. The powder gangers are so evil that murdering them gets me karma, but stealing from them makes me lose it? What the hell are they thinking? That's just an oversight, I suppose. So this is just a broken terminal. If we look at it, it's just useless. Why they bothered to put it in the game? Don't ask me. And there's another star bottle cap on the desk there. We're going to wind up with way more star bottle caps than we actually need for the quest. Just in case you were wondering. And we got to be careful about... Got to make sure I actually hold still for a second before I steal anything. There's just a couple loose things that are actually in his line of sight that we'll just need to grab and carry behind him. It's a little farther up than I thought, but that's all right. Tales of Chivalry, I think that's the first one of those we've seen that should be fairly obvious to you is the melee weapons skill magazine. So now all that's left is the regular tin cans, or not quite. So let me just count those up. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. All right. So I need 
I still need a lot of those. I need 168 more. Like the books, I want to gather a total of 200. We're gonna. We're also. We of course we also need to raid these machines, and that can be tough to do. What I need is some way to block his line of sight. There's not a whole lot in here, unfortunately. This is something like textbook glitch abuse, but I don't care. Ah, uh, stay up there, buddy. He's just not gonna do it, is he? Gonna quick load. I really don't want to mess up my prior success. position the fan just right, I might not even need the body. Excellent! Now I'll drink those two hard-earned sunset sarsaparillas, and then we'll move on. Right now, as we clear out the yard, there's going to be a bunch of stuff to do. First of all, notice that we can just take most of the stuff. It's not flagged as stealing. That's nice. See here, this actually was probably a prison before the war. Basketball court and everything. We'll head over here first. Let's pick up everything we can find off the ground. Damn. Low on now here are some books. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I need 78 more. So we got some bottles here. Avoid that puddle or you will experience a little um, irradiation. I mean, obviously that's not the end of the world, but 
You'll notice somebody's spotting us and that that does have a stolen tag, so be careful. What did I kick just then? I definitely heard something rattle. Oh well. There's another one. I actually see two more. I think that guy up there is the one detecting me. Yeah, that's his line of sight. So, I'm gonna ignore what I just said and just run and deal with him right quick so that I can loot that little corner of the prison yard. Never gets old when something blows up. I think we've discovered that the shovel is definitely the best way to do this. Oh. Missed. Whiffed. So there's that. We'll go ahead and loot him. He's got a varmint rifle. That's great. We can use it to repair. Our varmint rifle's finally doing max damage, but it's still not at still not at full condition. I'm gonna go ahead. And loot that explosives crate right quick. Now I ought to be able to loot those two metal boxes, no problem. Yes. Oh, that one. Apparently no one cares about. Alright. You can see there's lots of rubble piles around these towers old outhouses. There's another tin can. Sorry about that, just have to keep track. Well, okay, there's two more. There's one two, three, more. And now I'm fairly sure it's done. Toss it more at me. I hope, anyway. Alright. Here's a table full of stuff I almost missed. Now I need to check my carry weight. We're at 207. It's about time to pop back to Good Springs again. I know we haven't really done much yet, but... <clears throat> That's just kind of how it goes. But down here... Oh yeah, I remember that one. That one's brushed in. But we can take that and two more tin cans. And that's going to max out our carry weight for now. So, let's pop back to Good Springs. And same deal again. You looking to buy some supplies? Oh, it looks like Chet is actually restocked. So that's good. You can have that switchblade, that armor, the ashtray, basketballs. Have the drinking glasses. Can have the forks. And you can have the tin plates. 
Actually, wait, no, no, he can't have the tin plates. We can use those. Just kidding. Alright, looks like he's restocked based on his um, cap total. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Mm, he did restock mods, but I already have the plasma pistol high energy ionizer, and he doesn't have either of the other Another two. Another satisfied customer. All I'm missing now, ideally from Chet, I'd like to get spiked knuckles, but those are about to become obsolete anyway. And I'd like to get the other two mods for my plasma pistol. And then after that, we're just going to be saving money for implants. Alright, let's visit the good doctor. Drop our shit off. I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep the combat knife, because it's inferior to the shovel right now, but that's just because it's in shitty condition. It's definitely a better melee weapon once we get there. I'm actually gonna eat that bloat fly slider now. I might need the fresh carrot after I take my one hour nap, too. Oh, I'm going to drink those Nuka-Colas. I almost forgot about that. You don't have any, um... There's no chance of getting a star bottle cap, obviously, but you still get money. You just get a cap for every single one you drink. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and have another one hour nap. I guess we're on the Uberman sleep cycle. Polyphasic sleep. Instead of ever sleeping for eight hours like Fallout 4 forces me to, let's take a one hour nap every time my sleep total starts to run up a little bit. Alright, now let me eat that bloat fly slider. Because I know I'm above 126. Let me look. Food's at 8. Fresh carrot will get rid of 25, so I'll hold on to that as well. I'm going to drink the Nuka Colas now, because they're going to raise my dehydration. I don't know if you noticed, but they actually subtract. They subtract from my uh, sleepiness, which is cool. All right, back to the. Let's zoom this map out. And back to the correctional facility once again. For more looting, of course. Damn, running low on smokes again. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy. Since I've otherwise <laughs> cleared this entire part of the yard. And I'm gonna go ahead and loot this tower too. I might as well. Instead of making entirely separate circuits. I think this just makes sense. He's toting another varmint rifle. Make some repairs with that bad boy. I am close to max condition now, so... Any other varmint rifles I find are going to be for sale. I right, got some goodies up here, for sure. And we got a very easy ammo box, which I'll go ahead and unlock.
I'll go ahead and do this tower as well. At the end of a quest line, we're actually going to wind up clearing out the prison anyway. This is obviously just going to make that task much easier. Oh, this tower's unoccupied. Go figure. Right, we got books here, so... How many? One, two, three, four books. Need 74 more. Now let me check my carry weight. 87, doing fine. It's like one, two, three more tin cans. Need 157 more of those. Just gotta be careful, you gotta watch for those stolen tags or you'll set off the whole camp. Now one little easter egg, but a fairly obvious one. You should definitely recognize the music that's playing here if you've ever played Fallout 2. Empty bottles are good. Let's head up the tower now. This one has an occupant. him. That tin can is bent. I got two regular ones and we got some 308 ammo which I already have a stash of even though I don't have any guns that are good enough to consume it yet but that's quality ammunition. If you find that you want to hold on to it because one of our main endgame weapons is going to be a Christine sniper rifle out of Old World Blues. We'll want a good stock of 308. Like that's, it's going to be pretty close to my main gun. I told you at the beginning, and I wasn't kidding. Damn, I'm, running low on smokes again. I'm going to be an unarmed specialist. I'm going to, you know, what I'll be best at is getting up close and personal and stealth assassinating people. Like I'm kind of already doing a lot of. But, with that said, sometimes you need guns. I'm thinking New Vegas Death Claws are the primary example, and uh, Christine's, I think it's COS sniper rifle that you find in Old World Blues is a great ranged weapon. And of course, the legendary anti-material rifle is one that will that's going to be our death claw killer, but the um, the ammo for that, the the 50 caliber ammo for that, is so rare and difficult to find. I'm pretty much not going to use it on anything besides death claws. That's where Christine's sniper rifle will come in. But like I said, for the vast majority of enemies, we'll be able to just. Uh, Stealth kill him with a. Uh, my my ultimate weapon is going to be the um, the superheated Saturnite fist, which you also get in Old World Blues. Anyway, let's bag this guy. Oh, shoot! Much better. Carry weight's getting up there. Ooh, he has a sledgehammer. Alright, that's going to replace the combat knife as our best sneak killing weapon. Take those. 
My carry weight's up to 207 now, so we're about to have to make another jaunt back to Good Springs. Two oh eight, two oh nine, two ten. All right, off we go. <laughs> Let's see, we got twenty five minutes or so left for this video. That's not bad. Hey, you looking to buy some supplies? that, take that, take that, take that, and that, and those, let me use that to repair my cowboy hat I'm wearing, but take all those, I'm starting to get a feel for what I can and can't sell. We actually want to keep clipboards and conductors. You can have the dog bowl. No, 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 no. You keep those 20 gauge holes, my friend. I think we can. S no, we need to hold paint guns. Just kidding. Alright, now. Let's look at his stash. Still no good weapons. What about plasma pistol mods? Nope. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, it's an excellent time for the fresh carrot, but we don't need to sleep, which is great. As we roll into here, that's all good. Oh, I was going to ask where that extra weight came from, but obviously it's the sledgehammer. Now, I do not meet the requirements for this weapon, but that's not going to matter. That's not going to matter for stealth kills. Oh, one last thing. Let's just get a gulp of that nice clean water. And let's head back to the prison once again. Now we can head left now, because we've done all the rest of this area. Well, that didn't work. Oh, 
What I really need is for him to quit moving for a second. There we go. I'm not even sure there's still anyone left out here. I think he was the last one. Awesome. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four more books. Down to 70 more that I need. Let's pick up all this stuff. And we got two more towers to check out, and then we can start checking out buildings. Up in this tower, unoccupied and empty. And then, this last tower, we already killed the occupant. Now we'll just loot it. Doubt there's anything outside. There usually isn't. And inside... I had two regular tin cans. I need 153. And... Let's go check out the cell blocks first. Now there are even some named NPCs that I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna leave Carter alive for now. Well, no I'm not. I can sell everything else to Chet, so I don't really have any use for him as a merchant. Now that I've sold all the stuff I stole from Good Springs. Well, let me just clear this joint out. Any lawman that comes after me won't have... What's up? But I'll get through all of Carter's dialogue before I do anything else. You're a traitor? I was always the guy who could get things, if you know what I mean. Figured I might as well keep on doing it. What did you do to end up here in the first place? I worked in a casino in New Reno. One of the pit bosses decided he didn't like me. Framed me over some caps, and I ended up in here. What can you tell me about this place? This is where the NCR sent prisoners to reform through hard labor. I never saw much reforming around here myself. Why do you stay here? Don't have any other place to go. I'd just end up back in another prison or dead out in the wasteland. Show me what you have for sale. You got it. I just want to make sure he doesn't have anything special that I want. Because I will not find all of this after I kill him. This is his merchant chest, which is separate. I don't need any of that. Nor that. Nor that. Alright, cool. See you. Alright, Carter. <laughs> Night, buddy. Oh, and there's a key to cell block B. I don't want to take that. I want to pick the locks. I think, yeah, we're empty now, so. That was two ordinary tin cans. Got about 15 minutes left. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll do that. We'll save that for last. Let's try this cell. We have a very easy locked foot locker. Let's spring that. A little ammo. Nice. Some mentats here on the bed. Just two more ordinary tin cans. Uh, 
that was one more ordinary tin can. I need 148 more, and then we can stop tracking. Right, now let's get this door open. Easy lock, so a little more experience, that's nice. And we've got these schematics for a powder charge. Let me check my notes. Oops, no, I was on the right tab. Schematics, powder charge. This schematic allows you to make powder charges. Okay. Oh yeah, and somebody asked me in the comments if I was going to actively go after the challenges. Uh, the answer is eventually. I'm going to... Uh, I'm kind of going to let them come naturally and then... And, and some of them I'm not going to do because they, you know, conflict with the storyline or the other stuff I want to do, but... Kill Mr. House with a 9-iron or Nefi's golf driver, a slave obeys. But yeah. I, I, I guess the real honest answer to your question is no, I'm not going to pay much attention to challenges. I'm just going to kind of let them come naturally. Alright, let's check out cell block A. We have 10 minutes left. I believe both of these guys are just generic gangers. Shouldn't be a problem to just murder them. And now block A is empty. So we can loot it too. Desk is empty, alright. Let me do the main room. We got one ordinary tin can. And now we'll start doing cells. Looked like a foot locker, but it was just a brick. That cell's empty. This one, we've got a Patriot's Cookbook. That is the one, uh, that's the magazine for explosives. Ooh, five frag grenades. Alright, now we got two locked boxes here. We got a easy locked mine box. and an average locked armor case. It still just has powder gang armor in it. You'd expect something better. Oh well. In here, not much, just two more ordinary tin cans. And in the last cell, we've got two ordinary tin cans, and Hydra's not bad. It's a Hydra's a chem that cures crippled limbs. All right now, all that's left is the main building. Let me see my carry weight at 200. So yeah, we're certainly not going to be able to loot it entirely, but. We ought to be able to make a dent, at least. Alright, so... What do we do in here? Well, first and obvi most obvious, it's easiest to steal things if everybody's dead. Damn, running low on smokes again. Let's talk to Hannigan. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. Why are you sort of the doctor? I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? What did you do to end up in here? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. What did you do before? Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, 
and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. What was your what's your reason for staying? The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. How did you all manage to escape? One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Goodbye. Later. Now, he doesn't seem like a bad guy, but... The game will put the lie to that. When we uh, come back here on the quest later on, because he just, uh, you know, he attacks like everybody else. All right. We were actually able to completely loot him. That's awesome. Hello. All right, so. Hello. I'd like to grab. Hello. I hate to waste a trip by doing anything less than maxed out carry weight, so I'll grab that one book. I need 69 more. And unfortunately, we do now have to make yet another run to Good Springs. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to, like, find the right spot on the square to click before it works. Now, I never had that particular problem in Fallout 3. One of the many, 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 many bugs that happened because Bethesda forced Obsidian to rush this game. You looking to buy some supply? They still did an incredible job, especially considering the time constraints they were under, to be frank. I still like to hold on to all my explosives, so I'm not going to sell those. My hat still needs some repairs. So I'll hold on to that as well. Oh, just kidding. We're upgrading now. We're going to go, we're going to switch now to the trooper helmet, because we're going to lose that bonus point to perception, but we're going to gain a point of damage threshold. And as you can see, it remains light armor. So, uh, see, it pays to pay attention. Can sell the Apraxo, keep the box of detergent. Leaf blowers we actually want to hold on to. Cigarettes are always for sale. Okay, cool. Now let's just check his stock again. That's a scope for the Plasma Defender, which I don't have yet and will probably never use. Another satisfied customer. So I'm here, it's wise to check on my needs. Only 39 on food. That's not bad. Let's just let's just keep five frag grenades. Drop everything else. I'll hold on to one iguana bits and probably eat them right after I fast travel back. There we go. 
Little extra DT is always good. Awesome. All right. We still don't need any sleep. So I'm just going to grab a drink of water, fast travel back, and once I get back, I'm going to eat my iguana bits. Because those are in a final form, so to speak, as far as crafting at a campfire goes. And they only get rid of 42 f hunger. Alright, back to the prison again. Now, I might hey. be able to finish clearing it out. I also might need one more run. We'll see. Yeah, and I gotta eat my iguana bits. Well,. Let me make sure my hunger is actually over 42. Yes, it is. Alright, we'll kill this guy. And we need to be careful. There are still a bunch of bunch of dudes live in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and loot the downstairs. I oh. Hello. See? Gotta pay attention. So there's a yeah. there's a guard right there. Yeah, see, if you can get them in vats, then hey. you actually get a little bit of extra range, which is kind of fun. Now, I think, I think this floor is clear. That was two more books. Need 67 more. Gun case. Well, shit, there's good stuff in here. Just want those pencils. Alright. Well, we'll loot the clinic. The rest of it, anyway. And yes, an easy locked first aid box. Spoiler alert, there's going to be too much stuff. We're not going to be able to fully clear this out on this go. It's going to take one more, and I don't really have time for that. I oh, Part of me wants to push it, just so I get to a more sensible stopping point, but... See, I got... I counted... Two regular tin cans right there. Yeah, no, I think I know what I need to do. It's so. Four sunset sarsaparillas. We'll go ahead and drink those. Now we got this room, and then we've got upstairs. There's another sarsaparilla. And now we head upstairs. Where there's still live guards, so, you know, I gotta focus. Ah! 
So I wanted to get him while he was outside. Hey. I'll have to wait for him to patrol back. That was another book. Only need 66 more. Whoops. Oop. And there's one more. That makes it 65. We got the average locked gun cabinet here. Which I'll go ahead and spring. Ah, we got brass knuckles. That's awesome. Those are going to replace the sledgehammer, because I'm much more skilled with them. See, it does 17 damage, and this does 17. Alright. Let's just close this door. So we can clear off this table. Now with this room clear, how's my carry weight doing? 182. Got another average locked door here. Got a boatload of ammo. And some explosives. And another Sunset Sarsaparilla. Somebody opened that door, but they didn't come out. Now in here is something important. There's a copy of Lying Congressional Style. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to leave that and collect it next time. Where did it go? I dropped it. There it is. Whew. It's like, where the fuck did it go? That's important. That's a speech skill book. Not magazine, book. Of the flavor that permanently raises the relevant skill. Alright, let's make another run to Good Springs. I'm gonna pack it in. Because this is the last one we'll need to make before the prison is cleared. So, uh, uh, you probably already noticed that it's kind of a matter of taste who you want to side with in Ghost Town Gunfight versus Run Good Springs Run, because you can just go over to the correctional facility. You don't have to fight anything between Good Springs and there. You're looking to buy some and it's a nice little civilization, but I like Good Springs just a little bit better. Oh, looks like he restocked. Perfect. Okay... I no longer need the sledgehammer, because I got my brass knuckles. Oh wait, shoot. I don't want to sell the clipboards. Got a little carried away there. Don't want to sell that either. That I want to sell. Medical brace I can sell. I use them to make doctor. You use them to make doctor's bags, but I don't actually need those. Uh, 
All right, that's everything, unless... Okay, he doesn't have any of the weapons I'm after. Those brass knuckles were a nice find. Yeah, no, he doesn't have any... Pleasure doing business with you. Doesn't have any mods I need. Still no need to sleep, and not really any need for food, either. At least it's getting faster. I'm sort of uh, streamlining the process, and it'll get a lot better once we get the first actual player house. But unfortunately, that takes a while. We have to get to uh, Novak, where the motel room becomes our first like official actual player home. There we go. I think I'll I'll grab another iguana bits. I'm pretty close on one of those. And as usual, get a nice drink of clean water before I head over. Well, pro this video will probably wind up being an hour and 15 minutes, and that's not too bad. I'm unconcerned. And I think Good Springs is better to ally yourself with, mainly because it has clean water, where the prison doesn't, and um, Chet's a much better merchant. With that... Back to the correctional facility once again. Yeah, no, I started with a pretty hefty unarmed skill just because, yeah because I boosted my endurance so much. So it's starting at 34, which is not bad. All right, now let's clear out that last little room. I really want the skill book. And again, I'm not gonna use it until I get to level six and take the comprehension perk. And then the last thing to do is to deal with the main room here. As you can see, we've got four different guards here. Oh, shoot. This is higher damage. Why isn't it killing him? I don't know. Hello. Hey. 17. That's the same damage the sledgehammer was doing. Huh. I don't know, but... We'll take that opportunity. Lower their numbers. Ah! 
That worked too. Now, I don't think these other ones move. I know Scrambler doesn't. gonna have to look for an even better weapon and I know that there is one yeah. Whoa. yeah it looks like I can't kill the uh, bodyguards with the brass knuckles well, that's okay. And I'm going to save the rest of this, including dialogue with Eddie, for the next video. I will card out this book and steal it. Yeah, I want to get the loose stuff at least, so this will be the last thing I do, but... The only other thing to do, besides um, kill the bodyguards, we want to leave Eddie alive, because he's actually a quest NPC that we're actually going to do some questing for. I mean, he's ultimately doomed, but not yet. And hopefully between now and the time I actually need to deal with him, I'm hoping I either find some spiked knuckles, or even better than that, would be a bladed gauntlet. Because that will absolutely shred these guys. What are you looking at? Let's talk to Scrambler. Why are you called Scrambler? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. What did you do to end up in here? Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. How did you all break out? Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. What do you do around here? I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. Goodbye. Uh-huh. All right, and like I said, next thing to do is talk to Eddie, and we will save that for next time. Until then, this has been Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you enjoy my videos, please consider clicking like, share, or subscribe. Even if you don't feel like doing those things, I thank you for taking the time to watch. It means a lot to me, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.